to set up our Google Classroom Gradebook integration with Infinite Campus, we're going to start in the Infinite Campus section. So we're going to go to our Infinite Campus and then head over to Gradebook. Now, once our Gradebook is open, we are going to select the section, so the class that we want to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Biology. And now we're going to go to the Settings menu for this class. And the Settings menu can be found right here on the top left, and we're going to extend that. And for the purposes of the gradebook integration, we are just going to focus on this menu option right here, non-campus assignment defaults. When I click on non-campus assignment defaults, we get a pop-up. And this is basically saying anything that's imported into this gradebook needs to have a default category. And you can set that here. So as you can see, I already have a category set up in Infinite Campus. Now I'm going to have that be my default. So anything imported into Infinite Campus will automatically be given this category. And you'll see if, uh, how we can change that later. And then the other part is the standard. So again, this is a points-based gradebook. So the grading task will always be the quarter. And then I hit Save. Now when we're in Google Classroom, we are going to add a class. And you'll see a new pop-up that shows up. And this is a list of our classes that are linked to us in Infinite Campus. So you simply select the section that you're creating the Google Classroom for. Now, if you're not ready to link it right away, you do not have to. You simply hit the Skip button. For this example, I clicked on Skip. And now I'm in the Google Classroom that I just created. If I'm ready to link this to a course on Infinite Campus, I go to the Settings cog. When I click on settings, I can scroll down and then you'll see in underneath where it says general, it says link to class. If I link to class, again, I'm just going to select the section for the Google Classroom that aligns with my Infinite Campus and I'm going to hit link. It'll just take a second. And now it's all set. You can notice that if you want to unlink it, you still have the ability to unlink. And if it's a course where there might be semester one, semester two, you could always change this at semester instead of creating a brand new class. So now we're going to head out and we're going to move over to the classwork tab. Now we're going to go ahead and create an assignment. So I go to create and I go to assignment. And there's just a few things that we want to note while we are going through this. The first is the points. So I'm just going to leave that 100. And then most important is the due date. If you do not set a due date, it will not be able to be sent over to Infinite Campus. So we need to set a due date. Now, if in fact you do forget, it will remind you um, and it will say an error. You know, you need a due date in order to uh, export this to Infinite Campus. I'm just going to go with some instructions here. And then we can go ahead and hit Assign. Now, there are multiple ways of doing things. If you want to grade it through here, you can grade it through this page. But I'm going to go to the Grades tab. I'm going to focus here on the Grades tab. You can see that I have a student in here and I can enter in a grade. Let's say I checked out his work. We got a 79 out of 100. Well, you can see that it says draft underneath it. It says draft. That means that it is not saved yet. It is not saved as far as ready to go to Infinite Campus. It's just a draft. To fix that, we go to these three little dots on the right hand here, and we hit return. Again, if you have 25 students, you could you know, enter in the grades, you hit the top three circles on the top right, and you hit return all. So I'm gonna go ahead and return the work.
and now it says one submission returned. Now, if this student were to uh, make some corrections or adjustments and submit it again, then you can enter in a new grade and return it again and then export it to Infinite Campus. So here we are, 79, 79 out of 100. To export this into our gradebook, we are going to hit the icon up here that says SIS Export. So I click on this, and you can see here that there is one update. It's showing you right here. There's one update to my gradebook. So I click that, and then on the bottom left, you see exporting grades. This could take a few minutes. And while we're waiting here, I do want to note that this is a one-way communication. And what I mean by that is the grades that you send from classroom to Infinite Campus will update on Infinite Campus. However, if you were to change a grade in Infinite Campus, it will not be reflected in Google Classroom. So that's one really important thing to note with this process. All right, so it says the export has been completed. So now if I hop over to my Infinite Campus, I'm gonna refresh the page for this class. And you can see here that the assignment and the grade was transferred over. To get a little more in depth here, we can go and click on the assignment title, and then we can take a look at what we can and cannot edit. These gray bars mean we cannot change it. So we can change the category. If we want to change the category of the assignment, that's no problem. We cannot change the title or the due date. That is set in stone. Now we can hit close. Now remember, this, like I said, it was a one-way communication. So if I were to change this grade in here, just be aware that that will not be reflected in Google Classroom. Now I'm gonna move over to Classroom again in the grades tab. And let's say this student made some changes based off of the feedback that we gave him. So I can go ahead here and hit and update that grade. You can see that now it is an 82. And let's see what happens when I hit the export button. Well, it says there's nothing that's changed since the last, last export. And the reason for that is because I did not return the assignment. So again, I'm going to return the assignment. Now that it has been returned, I can click Export again. And we'll go through that process one more time. Now again, while this is going, I will note that let's say a student joins the class late or you know a weekend that will not mess up any of the integration or any of the updates. It simply will carry along. And if you update that student's score, it will update that student and not uh, mess with anyone else's records. All right, so it says the export was completed. Let's see if, in fact, the grade has changed in Infinite Campus. And it has. It's crucial to keep track of the dates for the terms when quarter one starts and when it ends. So for example, in an authentic grade book, quarter one would start in September. That means if I created a, an assignment right now in August and just posted it, that would make it an invalid assignment when it comes to exporting the grades. You have to create the assignment and set the due date for the assignment within the dates of the quarter that it is being exported to. Again, that means if I were to create an assignment in Classroom on August 20th and set a due date for August 23rd, it will not let me export. I would be unsuccessful in exporting that grade. That's one thing that's worth noting because it is a little different uh, how the communication works between Classroom and Infinite Campus. 
It is very literal. On a similar note, the important thing to remember is that Infinite Campus is still the official grading platform for the school district, right? This is our learning management system. Google Classroom is an application that supports teachers and supports students in that process. So when you're moving forward with this, if you do choose to integrate your Google Classroom gradebook with Infinite Campus, remember that the Infinite Campus gradebook is the one that is official. So if you were to add an assignment separately from Google Classroom, that would not reflect your Google Classroom gradebook. And just make sure that students are aware that they should be checking Infinite Campus as far as the, the grade that they will be receiving uh, for the report card. And finally, here we're going to take a look at what happens when students are rostered into a new section um, and move from one class in Infinite Campus to a different class. So here you can see we have two classes. I had a student moved from this environmental science class, the 1B class, to the 1A class. Now, if a student unenrolls themselves from the original class they were in, again, the student was in 1B, and they unenrolled themselves and joined that 1A class. Well, the good thing is I still have access to all their work. So you do not lose any work that the students uh, created. To view that work, we would click on this little folder at the bottom right corner of our class. And that brings us to the Google Classroom Drive. Now here I can go to this assignment and I can see here that the students work RUSD student number one is still there, even though the student is no longer in this section. The other way of checking up on that would be go to actually go into the classroom, go into the classwork, and look for the specific assignment uh, that you're looking for. And from here, we can go ahead and view the assignment. And then finally, we can click the folder in Google Drive for this file. So it just depends if you're looking for one file, one specific file, or you want to get an overview of uh, all the uh, assignments in your classroom.